Santa Batad here, Adam back again doing a pickups video. I hope I'm in frame. It might be cutting off the top of my head. I don't know. We'll try that. Uh, how y'all doing? It's been a minute since I did a pickups video. I know I said I was going to do one uh, for the rest of my PlayStation Longbox games. I picked up an additional two games at two different locations. Um, and I'll show you those as well as the five that I had initially. So we're up to... Uh, I don't know, we'll total them at the end and we'll show a shot of all the games, but anyway, this right here is the reason why I've been having issues filming videos. This cat was uh, meowing like crazy when I first got her, and uh, now she's kind of settled down and gotten a little more used to being here, but she's attacking my video game bags as we speak. Uh, I, I'm, pretty, I'm like 95% sure it's a female, but she's really young, so it's hard to tell. Um, not sure what I'm going to call it yet, uh, but we're going to do these uh, pickups here, and uh, she's going to play with this bag on the bed, hopefully, and not interrupt us too much. So, anyway, uh, I do have some other pickups that are not uh, PlayStation 1, but I uh, thought we'd go ahead and finish this up, and then I'll have a separate video for some other pickups and stuff, and uh, maybe we can get a little uh, Metallica turned down slightly. Sometimes it's hard to cue that music and to have that right level of background ambience. Um, so let's get started. I was really stoked to get a few, a couple of these, and some of them are kind of filler. And today I picked up one more of them, and I went out to the livery store, looked around, and the disc world that they had the last time I was out there for $25 was gone. So I get the feeling that somebody else is hunting for PlayStation 1 long boxes because they had the XCOM at the Lee Summit store, and then I went in there, and it was gone the next time I went in there, like four days later. This, I went in there. I didn't go last weekend, so it's been two weeks, but I went back in there, and it was gone, but nothing else as far as long boxes were, were gone off their shelf. But the, that Discworld they had in the case was gone, so I just have a feeling that somebody's hunting down the PS1 long boxes as well as me uh, in the uh, Kansas City metro area, which is all good. More power to them. They had the money on the day, and I didn't. I, I don't know about XCOM, though. They, they won $60 for that, and uh, I looked online, and that's about the going rate. And I checked out some gameplay, and it just didn't look like I would get $60 worth of enjoyment out of buying that thing just to have it in my collection. Uh, but I was going to buy Discworld for $25, and it's it was gone. So I kind of picked up uh, one other one that was kind of sitting there um, that we spoke about in the last video, and I really resisted the urge because they had... Um, two other sports games there that were like $2.99 or $3.99 a piece and I know I said I'll never play them but it's hard when I'm filling out a collection and that's why I, I did my community question uh, to resist them when they're cheap just to have some diversity in your collection uh, and like I said I'm not going for a complete collection so in that case what's the point of buying them I don't know um, it's just about having as much diversity I guess as a possible for me um, and if it's cheap, I mean, if they were like $15 a piece, I, no way, I wouldn't be buying them. But when they're $2.99 and they're complete, it's hard for me to pass them up. Um, luckily, uh, let's look down the list here. One of these is a pseudo sports game, and the rest of them are, are pretty much uh, a mix. So we'll get started here. I'll start with the two that I picked up that weren't in the original bunch. Uh, of five that I had picked up, and then uh, we'll go from there. Now, the one I picked up out at Liberty today because I, not because I was upset because they didn't have the <laughs> disc world, but I was like, oh, I'm getting this because they didn't have that, um, is right here on top. And uh, I, I'm debating, I've seen Need for Speed at like two or three of these, and none of them are in better shape than the other one. It's not like one was pristine or sealed or something, but it's like $10, and I'm not a huge racing fan. Excuse me. But, uh, you know, I have Need for Speed on the 3DO, so 
I'll probably buy it at some point, but I keep kind of has it's one of those that I keep not pulling the trigger on buying. But anyway, I picked this one up. They had two copies of this one out there, and we talked about it the last time. I'm not sure how to say it. Uh, Kilik the or yeah, Kylik or Kilik the DNA imperative. It looks kind of like a first person real time shooter where the minutes are too long, hours not enough, and the future is intense. Uh, it's first person, heavy arsenal of weapons, robot assassins, uh, secret rooms and strategy orienting challenge. Um, I paid five bucks for it. Uh, it is complete. Minus the protective foam. Uh, like I said, I'll probably pilfer that foam out of a couple of those uh, sports games and put it in these uh, other games instead. But $4.99, uh, I might actually play this. I, I mean, <laughs> I know that sounds funny. I bought something I might actually use. Um, but anyway, I might actually play this one. Um, I keep saying, well, we'll check out some of these. But um, I haven't stuck that one in yet because I just got it today. Uh, then this was the one that I picked up out at the Lee Summit store when I went out to see if they still had that XCOM there. And they've got uh, a couple of sports games out there as well. But I pretty much got what I wanted. I think they have a copy of Need for Speed there, too. They have one at the Liberty store and one at the Lee Summit store. And I'm pretty sure they had one at one of the other stores. I don't think it was Blue Springs because I think I bought the only two long boxes they had, which was Wipeout and uh, were Wipeout, sorry, my grammar. And um, I think it was uh, one of those other ones like Criticon or something like that. Um, so they don't have any, and I haven't been back out there, so they might have gotten some in, but it seems like lately they haven't really been buying a lot of retro stuff or having a lot there. So, anyway, uh, I picked this up when I looked in their case and saw the XCOM was gone. Not that I wanted to pay sixty dollars for it, but it was kind of those one of those knee jerk, well if they got it I'll get it kind of things. And because I had a little extra cash, and I went out there and it was gone, so I was like, oh well. But uh. I picked this one up. It was six ninety nine. The book along the spine was a little bit worked, um, but other than that, it was in pretty good shape. The case, a little scratch. You can maybe swap out the case for a better case. But uh, I remember playing this at the actual arcade, so it's kind of cool to pick this up. And this is my pseudo sports game for the evening. It's WWF WrestleMania, the arcade game, uh, one to two players. Uh, the WWF wrestling to the extreme with the intense action straight from the arcade smash hit. It's in your face with punishing head-to-head -head team action matchups, grueling world and international title bouts. Pummel your uh, senses with devastating new moves and authentic play-by-play -play commentary from Vince McMahon. No pain, no game. It's got like Doink the Clown, a Bread the Hitman Heart, Razor Ramon, Shawn Michaels, The Undertaker, uh, Yokozuna, I think, Bam Bam Bigelow, Lex Luger. I'm sure there's some other characters in there that are probably hidden or something like that. But I really, I remember playing this at the arcade. I, I uh, never had it for the home system. I do have some of the wrestling games, like for the PS1, like WWF, uh, Attitude, and WWF um, Warzone. Those were ones that I picked up when I was actually watching wrestling and was more into it than I am now. I still like res wrestling passively, but haven't really followed it. Foam thing, and we'll turn the disc so you can see it. Uh, disc and the manual. Uh, the manual's advertising Street Fighter, the movie, the game on the back. Um, I wouldn't mind having that one, but it's not high on my priority list. Uh, the two or three that I really still want, like I was saying, are Psychic Detective, I know, and Primal Rage, and uh, there was another one um, that I want, uh, Road Rash. Those are the three that I really would like to find in the long box, and I know I'm probably going to have to pay for them a little bit, but $7 for that one, so we got two of those, and those are in the plastic cases, which, like I said, when I'm out looking for these, actually, they all of them that I've found pretty much have been on the hinges, which is cool, but at least I can tell they're complete because it's got the book in it, and you can see through, you know, and see if it's complete or not, so that's always good. You want to play with those, kitty? 
All right, now these are the five that I picked up that I was really stoked about. Three of these I got from the Liberty store uh, probably a couple of weeks ago. And that's when I saw the Disc World, and then when we went back, they didn't have it, and that's when I picked up the Kalik or whatever. Um, and then two of these were out at the Lee Summit store when I, the week before when I saw XCOM, and then went back out there. Um, I picked these up uh, that time. So uh, the first one uh, is in the plastic case. It is a racing game, but I remember playing this game. Uh, back in the day, uh, I already took the price tag off of it. I think this one was th $3.99, um, but it is complete Ridge Racer uh, for the uh, PlayStation. We've got the foam in here, um, and then we have the uh, disc, which is a nice bright purplish pink. And uh, not for sale, it says. I think this was one of the uh, pack-in uh, Ridge Racers when they did some of their pack-in games because it does not have a barcode on it, and it says um, not for sale on the actual disc. So um, It doesn't say not for resale. It says not for sale, which I think is funny. But So that's three in the plastic case. Uh, we've got four more here, and we've got a little... Uh, for whom the bell tolls going on. Did you ever see uh, at the beginning of Zombie Land? They have the For Whom the Bell Tolls. There's certain songs that every time I hear them, I think of certain uh, movies or whatever. And Zombie Land at the beginning has For Whom the Bell Tolls uh, playing. Uh, that's a classic with Woody Harrelson. If you love zombie movies, I'm sure people have seen uh, Zombie Land. Um, I, I heard they were going to make another one, but I don't know if they ever will. Shit, yesterday I also heard that. Ben Affleck's going to be the new Batman. I don't know about that. Uh, I, I, I hated that Daredevil movie. I mean, out of all of the movies that they've made uh, for uh, these comic books and stuff, um, that Daredevil movie was maybe one of the, one of the worst, uh, in my opinion. Um, I heard Elektra was worse, but uh, I didn't ever see it. And... Uh, so I think yesterday also I was told that um, they're going to reboot The Crow, which I, I have mixed feelings about that. Uh, the first one was awesome. Uh, sad that Brandon Lee died during the filming and everything. But um, the uh, second one, that City of Angels or whatever, sucked. And I don't know if they made a third one or not, but um, if they're going to film a new one, they really need to get a good director. I I mean, I actually enjoyed the Batmans. If they got somebody like Chris Nolan or something to do The Crow, that would be awesome. But uh, we're off track. <laughs> uh, anyway, this is the final one that's in a plastic case. I never owned this game ever, but it seemed like it was a pack-in with some systems or that quite a few people owned it back in the day. Yes, I'm using saliva to clean the front of the cover off a little bit. Uh, it was $7.99. I went and picked it up. I am going to get the second one as well. But uh, it is the game Battle Arena Toshinden. And uh, I always said Toshiden. Uh, and then I finally noticed there was an N in, in the title. So it's Toshinden. Um, it does have the uh, security foam. And is complete. And like I said, I don't have a whole lot to say about this because I never owned it, so I really didn't play it that much. The only time I ever played it's when I went over to like uh, my cousin's house or something. They had a PlayStation and they had it, but I never had it. I think I had a demo disc that might have had uh, it on there with a couple of characters or something. Um, here we go. We're getting down to the three that I was really stoked about finding um, when I did. Um, this is the first one. They had it out at uh, the Belton Vintage Stock. I know I say Vintage Stock a lot, but that's usually where I go when I'm looking for stuff. Because I quit going to the freaking thrift store because it was such a waste of time and money uh, to go. I, I swear, I go about once a month and I look and they never have anything. And people are like, well, the more often you go, the more likely you are to find stuff. And it's like, maybe, but, you know, I just, I'm not going to go there two, three times a day. It ain't happening. Um, 
I used to go every maybe two to three times a week, and I would find stuff all the time, and now it's just like I could care less. Um, and I haven't ordered anything off the internet in a while. Uh, I've been waiting for the prices to come down on a few PS3 games uh, before I pick them up. Um, one of them's getting... Uh, well, I'm not going to get it for the PS3, but one of them's getting down in price. I want to get Dead Space 3. It's dropped to like, I think I've seen it online as low as 25, 25, and then you got to pay shipping. Uh, I'd like for it to drop to where I'm getting it for about 25 with the shipping, and then I'll go ahead and pick it up. But I want to get it for the 360 because I have the other two on the 360, and um, I know they they uh, released. Uh, I, did they release? Yeah, they did release Dead Space finally on the uh, PlayStation, but initially it was like not on the PlayStation or something. But I, I'm not going to rebuy it there, and I already have the two on the on the Xbox, so I'd rather just go ahead and get Dead Space Three for the Xbox. And I've also not bought it because I heard it wasn't quite as good as the other two, and I love the second game, so I don't want to be let down. What are you doing in there? I scared the shit out of the cat. Sorry, I didn't know. I just don't want you pooing or peeing in this bag with my cloak, my games in it. I'm still trying to potty train her. She's going about one and three times out of the box. And every time I catch her, I got to scold her and throw her in the box. You know how it is with animals. <laughs> but, uh,. My other cat and is not digging it, but um, she's an indoor outdoor, so she's been going out and um, coming in, and she's just like hissing at it and stuff. But yeah, what are you gonna do? Uh, the neighbor kids had the, all these kittens, and they were moving. My next door neighbor, they were moving, and they had like four or five kittens, and they're like, "We can't have all these cats that are where we're moving, and will you take one?" And you know, it's hard to resist. Kittens or cats, <laughs> kittens or kids uh, separately, but when you put them together, uh, it was really hard for me to say no. So I took the smallest uh, little one that I thought was a female because I just didn't want a very big tom cat catting around. And also because my other cat's a female, I didn't want a male and female and have some um, kind of issues. Of course, I'm going to get her fixed uh, when it comes time, but uh, that's not for uh, She's only probably less than two months, so probably another three or four months before they recommend getting her fixed. And probably about six months or so anyway. Uh, off track again, we're talking about video games, not cats. Uh, <laughs> uh, this one I went and picked up because they had it out at the Belton store. And it didn't have the instruction book, and so I was like, no, I'm not getting it. And all three of these came from the Liberty Store, um, like I said. And uh, this one actually had the directions, and I was I was like, well, I'm going to get it, because I was going to buy it without the directions, and I passed. I'm glad I did, because I finally got one with the directions. What? Oh, come here. Um, but we got... Lemmings 3D for the uh, PlayStation for ten bucks. Um, it is complete. I thought the inside was pretty cool. How the background mirrored the disc and everything, and then the instruction booklets in it. And it was ten bucks. Uh, I haven't stuck this one in yet, but I am interested in giving this one a playthrough. Um, so, what? You gonna claw me some more? I'm debating on calling her. Uh, Mrs. Claus, because she clawed the shit out of me. Um, <laughs> either that or Claudia, what do you think? Uh, the next game, this is one that I had, and I had it in the small box. Let's go down. I'm going to put you down for a minute. Go over there and, and lay down for a minute while I finish. Um, ah, 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 ouch! It just jumped on my leg from the bed and slid down my leg. Thank you. Um, this is a game I had, I think it's the greatest hits. And uh, I knew it was in the long box, but I never put a lot of effort into finding it. But I found one copy out at the uh, Liberty Store, and I'm glad I did it complete. Uh, this is one of my favorite games. It's kind of a gauntlet-styled uh, co-op level grind, but it's the game Loaded. And I know they made a game Reloaded as well, um, 
body bag not included. Uh, this is actually made by the same people that made like Descent and Siberia, and I just I don't I don't know about those games, but this game is awesome. Come on, you're causing me causing me problems here. Uh, instruction book, and then the disc. <laughs> disc is in there. That's cool. And the box is uh, pretty good shape, pretty stiff. It's got those, you know, slide scuffs on it where, you know, it's sliding when you even set it down on the hard surface or whatever. And uh, I got one game left to get through. <laughs> Are you going to let me do it or not? Or are I going to hold you the whole time? Come on. Okay. Uh, the final game you may have just saw, uh, uh, when I saw this in their case, this is when I saw Discworld, and I let it pass, and I went ahead and picked this one up instead. Get over there. Um, I was not, uh, I, a I asked the guy if it had the was complete, because it was shrink-wrapped, and he actually opened it up. Um... And looked, and it did have the directions. I kind of bought it on the spur of the moment and didn't realize how crushed this actually was. Um, I did what I could to fix it. <laughs> she just fell off the... <laughs> so are you all right? Yeah, of course you are. Fell off the computer table. <laughs> um, it is Doom in the long box. I think this also came in the hard plastic box. I know it came in a different style. Yes, I paid $16.99, but... I didn't realize that this box looks like somebody had bent it like, you know, like this, down, uh, right here in the middle, and I had to uh, really, um, I forget what I did, what did I do? Oh, the, the plastic tray inside here was, was lifted up, and so I put glue on the inside of the plastic tray, and I set something in here and put a bunch of weight on it to really flatten it down so the back was not so concaved in and it really helped straighten out that spine quite a bit but it's still uh, a little bit worked um, it does have the uh, game and the box is in like I said probably uh, 6 out of 10 for me in condition uh, but it did have the directions uh, I did stick this Doom in and check it out it says over 50 hellish levels, 2 player deathmatch, competitive modes with a link cable custom playstation edition um, it says best Dune yet, John Romero, creator of Dune. Doom, not Dune. And uh, I did stick this in. Um, they did a lot more with the shading on this. The levels aren't quite as bright, and there's more of a distinction between your hallways that are lit and not lit and stuff. So it is a little more atmospheric in that way. But the one thing that I don't dig about this game and I love Doom, is the music's not on here. They have like this ambient kind of, uh, it's not really even music, it's just like ambient sound and sound effects and stuff. And there is kind of like a, you know, a, like some tones that kind of add like an ambient sound, but there's not the, you know, the Doom music that you've grown to know over the years. And uh, that's the only thing for me that kind of is a drawback about this is um, that fact right there is is it doesn't have the music. Um, I had the Super Nintendo one originally. I bought it in the box. I remember it was a red cartridge. Um, I traded it off because I had bought uh, Doom, I think, for my PC, and the quality of the Super Nintendo one was just so... Uh, bl jerky. I mean, the controls were stiff. The music was not quite as good. And the play control, I just, I don't know. It gave me a headache to play it. And I ended up trading it in. Uh, looking back on it, I wish I would have kept it just as a collector because I uh, don't really ever see Doom, uh, Super Nintendo, even a loose cart of Doom anywhere. And I wish I would have kept my original Super Nintendo one. But I am happy to have picked this up. If I wouldn't have picked this up, I would have gotten Discworld, in which case this probably would have been taken, which wouldn't have been uh, necessarily a horrible thing because like I said the box was a little bit more work than I expected it but I really did quite a number on it and really helped this along so all together this is seven more toward our total and there's these five and then these two here, the Wrestlemania and the Kylie or whatever so those seven and now uh, I'm gonna before I go um, 
show you all of them kind of laid out and everything, uh, what I have so far. I'm pretty sure I've got like 21, like 20... Four to twenty-seven. I don't know exactly because I'm not. I'll say in the when I get them laid out and stuff and show you. So anyway, uh, we'll cut over to that and I'll go ahead and give you the wave and then we'll get out of here and uh, we'll just just see you next video. Talk to you later. All right, folks. So anyway, this is where the collection stands as of right now for the PS1 long boxes, including the ones that you just saw. Um, I laid them all out here. We've got. D Alien Trilogy Tekken Total Eclipse and then you just saw uh, WWF the arcade game Wrestlemania that key leak or whatever it is I can never say the name of this sucker Kill Leak Battle Arena Toshiden Ridge Racer Off World Interceptor In the Zone Cyber Speed Wing Commander NFL face, NHL, not FL, face off. Crazy Ivan, uh, Top Gun Fire at Will, Defcon 5, Resident Evil, Descent, Siberia, Loaded, Wipeout, Doom, Lemmings, Twisted Metal, Criticon, and Romance of the Three Kingdoms 4. So right now that totals. Looks like 7, 21, 22, 23, 24, 20, 26 total right now, which is a good start. Um, like I said, I really had to keep myself from buying sports games because they're cheap, and if it's another one to add to the collection uh, for diversity's sake, sometimes I feel the need to go ahead and buy them. I resisted the urge today to pick up the College Slam, and I keep seeing Need for Speed at a couple places for 10 bucks. I'm not a huge race car fan, but I did buy Ridge Racer. Um, I'll probably pick up Need for Speed, but I, it's 10 bucks, so I keep putting it off. Um, and like I said, the uh, Discworld was sold, and the XCOM was sold, so evidently there's somebody trolling around uh, looking for PS1 long boxes just like I am uh, out there, because uh, within a week's time, both of those, I saw them at, lo at two different locations, uh, vented stocks, and went back, and both of those long box games were gone. So anyway, I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for coming by, and this is my collection as of right now. Uh, um, we will um, expand upon this as time goes on, but it's starting to get to where there's only maybe six or so out in the wild, six to six to ten at the most out in the wild that I can find if I want to pay the prices that they have. And I'm not uh, too sure I want to go internet ordering because unless it's exclusively in the long box, you really got to make sure when ask a lot of questions to make sure it's in the long box. So anyway. Uh, Gonna sign off. Thanks for coming by, and we'll get another pickups video done here real soon. Uh, I do have some other pickups that aren't PS uh, One related, and we'll do those in a separate video, and then um, we'll just uh, go from there. Uh, probably do some gameplays or something, or maybe sit down and watch another movie or something, and uh, bullshit with y'all again. So anyway, I'll talk to you later. Thanks for coming by, and see you next video. Folks, sorry, this video just won't die, but uh, uh, while I was putting it together, I realized that I had left one of my PS1 long boxes out of the big group shot, and that's this game here, Silverload. So I guess we have 27 total, so um, this is a point-and-click, kind of Old West-style um, game. I like it. If you like point and click, some people don't dig them, but I do. So anyway, this is one of my originals from w way back. Uh, D and Alien Trilogy and Siberia are also some of mine from my original purchases. The rest of them have pretty much been picked up. So anyway, folks, we're going to get out of here. Thanks for coming by, as always. Sandum Todd, out.